Good morning from Universal Orlando's Endless Summer Resort, the Dockside Towers. We're here today for a tour because this side does not open until March 17th. If I spin around, you can see the Surfside section way across the street over there, and that is currently open now. These are Universal's value resorts. Very, very good value. So I'm excited to see what is inside of this tower and how it's different from the Surfside side. So let's go inside and see what we can see. So I'm just trying to figure out what Dockside is. So like Surfside makes sense. Is Dockside the Bayside? And they didn't want to call it Bayside because they have other bay themed properties? I don't know. There is some surf music playing, so I'm assuming it still has the same sort of surf vibe as the other side. I'm not sure. We'll find out. But this is the Port Cochere. I do like these gigantic wooden beams that are holding up the Port Cochere. All right, so when we first walk into the lobby, over to the right is the check-in area. We've got a vacation planning center over here. As we turn, some giant pieces of driftwood over here, right in front of the Universal store. We have a little cafe over here which I believe will be serving Starbucks coffee. And then as we continue in this direction, we come across the Sunset Lounge, which is the lobby bar, full liquor bar. And of course, we've got all of these beers on tap. This is a lot, a lot of seating areas here in the lobby. And as we go a little bit further, this is the quick service restaurant, and we're going to definitely get a little tour of this a little bit later. See what all is on the menu. I like these lights hanging from the ceiling in here. I'm getting a very kind of like beechwood driftwood vibe from this area. It looks awesome. I love the theming in this one. I kind of like it a lot better than the other side. Ooh, look at these lights. They look almost like old motorcycle lights. Look at that. I kind of want these driftwood chandeliers in our house. These are awesome. This, this is my vibe. I really like the design and the colors and the feel of Dockside. They just told us that Sunset Lounge is designed to mirror an image of a vintage Volkswagen bus, like a micro bus. Oh, okay, I came over here to go to the bathroom. Check out the bathroom signs. It's the same over at the Surfside Resort, but also I wanted to show you guys that this area back here is called the Pier 8 Market, and that's the quick serve section. Like I said, we're gonna be having a look at that a little bit later. I want to show you guys down here is where the ATMs are and the bathrooms just to give you guys an idea those driftwood pieces and the check-in area is back there but the highlight of the dining area really is, is that guests can sit here underneath the pier in the market so the main design feature for our dining is actually we're sitting underneath the pier in the dining area we'll go into the actual market itself and we'll talk a little bit about the different offerings that are there it's awesome yeah it's like you're underneath a pier Okay, inside Pier 8 Market, we've got some grab-and-go type stuff. And then let's see if we can get a better look at some of the menu items. Ooh! Mini melts! How much fun is that? So also, here we are check in, out all these little uh, surfboards the everywhere. Market itself. Here we'll have freshly made fried chicken and waffles that we'll serve in a bucket with the traditional condiments, coleslaw, mashed potatoes, gravy. And instead of biscuits, we'll have waffles that make them unique. And it's a Belgian waffle, so a little bit heartier, a little bit richer. When you go up and see our suites in our, in our rooms, there's plenty of space for our guests to actually use the market and have meals in their room as a family while they're on vacation, take a little break from running around town. We actually have an active working pizza station. So in the mornings, we'll be making breakfast pizzas. And uh, in the evenings, we'll be making the traditional pizzas and things like that. One of the other very cool features of our uh, of our space is that we'll be able to watch our culinary team doing uh, their work, freshly making. This is our this is our grill section. So we'll have burgers, we'll have fish sandwich, we'll have chicken uh, chicken sandwich, and then items for kids: chicken tenders and hot dogs and mac and cheese and things like that. This is hot off the press or not off the press station. We'll actually be freshly pressing hot sandwiches. We have a sandwich here called the Dock Worker Wrap, which is our signature sandwich for the resort. Uh, the Dock Worker Wrap is an all-in-one built deli sandwich that has french fries and coleslaw built inside. It's actually something that came from uh, gentlemen uh, working on the docks years ago. They would get a sandwich and a side of fries and had no place to hold their drinks. 
they only had two hands, right? So they would put the fries on that sandwich and then they could eat their sandwich and have their drink. So we sort of took that theme, rolled it in a wrap and press it. And that makes our signature dock, uh, dock worker sandwich. We also have a fun grilled cheese that's a uh, sloppy sailor. I'm a big fan of sloppy joe and grilled cheese. So we just kind of mashed them together and made one. And it turned out pretty good. It was a fluke and then it turned out pretty good. And then we have a full service salad bar. So fresh greens, fresh toppings, come through over 20 different toppings there as well as composed salads. And then a working bakery. There's also ice cream machines over here. Our, our refillable souvenir mug. So guests, they can purchase their mug and then use this and refill it for the rest of their stay for one price. And this is the quick service grab and go location. This is the only restaurant at the resort, but it has everything you could ever need. Definitely a lot of seating at Pier 8 Market. And then we're going to head out these doors and head to Tower 1. So let's head to the elevators and head up to the 11th floor have a look at some of the rooms just trying to see if i can see universal it's kind of over there somewhere i can see fun spot but we are going to go see a room now so we're headed into a standard room first let's see what we can see in here oh we got the bathroom hello everybody oh this is nice i like this a lot this has a good feel to it. Also, USB plugs, USB-C and regular USB. Oh, this has a nice view of the pool out there. This is the North Tower pool. Nice little seating area over here. I like this shelf up above the TV too. Lots of little storage and lots of little places to eat. Is this a refrigerator? There's a little tiny refrigerator in there. Not seeing a coffee maker. And then a little closet right here. Cool. It's a nice size room. And this sleeps up to four. Oh, and they've got storage underneath the bed for your luggage. All right, now we are heading into a two bedroom suite. This one has a little dining area and a kitchenette. Definitely has a coffee maker. Bigger refrigerator, a microwave, countertop storage. Not as much under TV storage, but we still have three drawers. And then we've got two beds over here with storage underneath. And then what do we got here? This one has a view of the pool again, but also you can see Volcano Bay off in the distance over there too. So this one has a view of Universal. I also love all of the surfing themed stuff. Interesting though, here's a bathroom, double sink, very nice. Another bedroom in here with another TV. This bedroom has a closet with just a curtain over top of it. I do like that there's USB everywhere. Nice little hooks here, more underbed storage. Let's see what we've got for the bathroom. Just a standard bathroom. Tub, shower, toilet. Nice. Now that we're back from the rooms, we're back down on the first floor, same elevators. And then we're gonna head down this hallway right here to go check out the fitness center and the multi-purpose room. And you can kind of see this is nice because if you're on the treadmill, you're looking out over the pool area here. So this is very nice. Lots and lots of weights, lots of treadmills, ellipticals back here. This is a very large fitness center. Wow. Huh. Did not expect it to be this big. This is nice. Wow. There you go. And then this is the door that we came in. Just kind of down there are the locker rooms. There's also a little multi-purpose room here called the wake zone. Oh, beanbag chairs. That's super fun. And this could be, say, if you are like a group that came here and you have just a spot for everybody to come and meet and pick stuff up or meet as a group, hang out in beanbag chairs. So this wouldn't be a normal everyday guest room. You would have to book this room in advance. From the doors into tower one, we are going to turn to our left, just to give you guys a little bit more wayfinding. Back that way, Pier 8 Market and the main lobby. And then we are headed this way 
towards the North Tower pool and the pool bar called the Oasis Beach Bar. Look at the design on these benches too. And so this is the North Tower over here and we're headed out to the pool. We have 900 lounge chairs around the pool deck. So room for everyone. And what's fantastic about that and our market is that our guests can grab their food in a grab and go market and bring it out to the pool deck and enjoy it. Across from us is the Oasis Beach Bar. We had a lot of fun putting the Oasis Beach Bar together. For those of you that are familiar with Orlando, Universal's Endless Summer Resort, which comprises Surfside Inn and Suites and Dockside Inn and Suites, is that we're on the property that used to be wet and wild. So as an homage to uh, wet and wild, we named our cocktails at the bar after the rides at Wet n Wild to kind of keep it all together and just keep them in memory, if you will. So the Surge, the Blast, the Bubba Tub, the Disco H2O, they still exist, just in a different form. Quite delicious form, by the way. We got a ping pong table over here. And then we've got a little sandy beach area for the kids to play in. And then this is a splash pad right here. So here we are looking at the pool. Let's see what we got here. We got three foot nine fairly shallow pool all the way around a nice little seat all the way around the outside of the pool for you to just kind of like sit and have a drink and watch the kids play and now we're over at the oasis beach bar lots and lots of seating so there is no food available at the beach bar but you can get food from inside just through those doors over there at pier 8 market and bring your food out here by the pool and have it. There are lots of little tables to sit at and eat your food. Some nice Adirondack chairs. Also, there are some restrooms over here. Nice changing area. These fans are really doing a good job of keeping this area cool out here. It is a cooler day today, but these fans are doing fantastic. Here are some of the beers available outside at the Oasis Pool Bar. And then we've got these specialty cocktail cups. Some more of the beers over here too. The full liquor bar and then of course just like in pure 8 marketplace you can get these mini melts very similar to dippin dots oh and there's a coke freestyle machine out here too so you can use your refillable mug wanted to show you they have these flags up here the flag advisory so right now the flags say to have fun and waves of fun so lots and lots of fun out here by the pool. So here is the entrance to the lobby. So over to the right will be Tower 2, which Tower 2 is not opening on the 17th with Tower 1. But the way that it's set up, you shouldn't be able to hear any construction happening while you are staying in Tower 1. I absolutely love the aesthetic here. Kind of feels like you're underwater. Feels good. Nice beachy theme. Nice driftwood theme. So I came outside of the resort to kind of give you guys a overview of the entire resort. This is Tower 2, which will be opening in fall. Here's the Port Cochere and the main lobby area, as well as Sunset Lounge and Pier 8 Marketplace. And like we said, we would walk underneath this little area over here and go through Tower 1, which is where we got the room tours. And just on the other side, in like the little area here in the center, kind of a cove area of Tower 1, that is where the pool is. Sorry, it just got real windy. I also wanted to show you guys this little mural on the outside over here. And this is the dockside mural. And from where we're standing, we can see the beachside mural too. And you can see how they're a little bit different. Then I also wanted to point out that these little overhangs here are where the resort shuttles will pick you up to take you over to Universal Orlando Resort. And then just kind of right here behind me, this is where you would go to pick up an Uber or a Lyft or any other of the rideshare apps. So I do, I do think that it's pretty interesting because if you kind of continue, this is Universal Boulevard. If you continue on that road, it leads you over to Universal Orlando Resort. But also, if you were to turn left out of here and head in that direction down Universal Boulevard, it would take you down to the area which will become eventually Universal's Epic Universe. So these are value resorts. And just to give you guys an idea of the pricing, I just did a quick look online. And for a three dates, three nights in August, about $95 a night, which is not bad for direct access to Universal, pretty decent actually. And I think you can get annual pass holder discounts on stuff like that. Fantastic if you ask me. I don't know, it's definitely an interesting resort and definitely a nice addition to all of the different hotels around Universal Orlando Resort. So I think we'll be staying here one night. You never know. So with that being said, we are off. We will see you guys tomorrow. Hi, I'm Maggie from Illinois and this is my muggle husband. Hi, I'm John from Illinois. And now it's time to pay the price.